Hey, we're Tropic Gold, and you are watching Forever Loud at Collision Day Fest. Brief history of the band. Well, it used to be another oh, band, which yeah. was a much heavier metal band. Which is weird saying that now because everything that we're writing in the studio is way heavier. It's than way it used heavier to than before. everything we've ever done before. Um, yeah. um, and then we started. Well, it was that was 2017, wasn't it, when yeah, we met? That's right. And then, um, yeah, like it, things just developed from there, really. And it was uh, just as every every other band. I think it was very much just like this is cool, this is fun, whatever. Just like boys playing around and stuff. And then we were like, maybe we can actually do something quite cool here. Um, yeah, and it was cool. Yeah, and it still is cool. Yeah, it is cool. Yeah, <laughs> and we really like it. So yeah, it's been that long. Bezzy's ever since. Bezzy's ever since. Yeah, some of us. <laughs> me. Um, how did that? Come how about? did that come about? Well, we got an email from uh, the A &R, Leander Glover Smith. And, Legend. Um, yeah, really, really Shout cool guy. And he was really interested in some demos that we had at the time. And. They were so interested in the demos that it just developed from there and they they came over and they met us and um, we went yeah. to London, had some dinner and, and yeah, they, yeah they, was, they were super stoked on everything and then, um, yeah. They were really supportive as well of like how we want to approach things and like the music and things like that. So it's been like, it's been such a pleasure to be able to, and really sort of like quite overwhelming in a good way yeah, at the same time. It's been, um, it's it's like, been a good ride so yeah, far. Yeah, really. it's been good. Like, yeah, it's definitely been a good ride so far, yeah. Yeah, I, I think, think so. Yeah, actually, I think it's probably the most Tropic Gold thing up to that point, because we had released a fair few singles before um, What Wonderful for Experience came out. And um, I think the singles in themselves, they were all developing so quickly, weren't they? Like, yeah. that they, they were all, realistically, they were all quite different. And they sort of yeah. developed so fast, but then, like what a wonderful experience I felt was like us tunneling exactly what we wanted from the music and it became like a cohesive group of music and, and at the same time like I think we spoke about this before as well like all of the songs were so different like you can put we we found with what a wonderful experience that we loved there was like a cohesive tropic gold feel to it all but also at the same time like some people would be like I don't like this song it's too heavy but I love don't take this to heart or yeah. I don't love Don't Take This to Heart, it's too soft, but I love Adrenaline. So But the it fact was, that it was on the same release was It was perfect, on the same release and it kind of made worked. people just go. So oh, I think, you know, yeah, in yeah. terms of like how we love approaching writing with like, there's the same vibe throughout all the songs, but they can go into like multiple different playlists. Yeah. I think it's probably the fairest way yeah, to say it. Definitely. It's like, yeah. it's definitely like pretty representative of sort of like what we aim for, yeah, really. 100%, yeah. I'm out of mind. Go on, tell them. <laughs> tell um, them. We record everything ourselves. Um, it's pretty much the start from the ground, everything we record ourselves. Yeah. Um, We've got uh, our space, haven't we, at, at George's house? Yeah, um, at George, our drummer's house. Um, <laughs> old Bean uh, Factory. Yeah, yeah. We, we have a, we have, so we've got our own studio space, which is super great and we're super, very lucky to have that. Um, yeah, everything gets recorded there, everything's produced there. I've got a set up at my house as well, where I'll do like a lot of writing. Um, yeah, and then the glorious Reese May stepped in for mixing on this one, and um, he's wonderful. He brings everything to life. So. He's a very lovely chap. Yeah, we're continuing yeah. to work with him. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, yeah. Good guy. so yeah, that's that was a fun one to just go a bit. We definitely felt a lot more free when it comes to production on that, and just sort of a bit like, don't like, let's just do it. Like, if we want to do it, let's just yeah. do it. No, we didn't feel sort of limited. So well, we didn't go nice. anywhere to do it because we were doing it ourselves. There was like no barriers on production. Yeah, we were just like, well. Let's try this sound out. It wasn't like we just paid hundreds of pounds to try this sound out, and then we're like, ah, oh, well, like we don't it. like it. So, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, yeah, that worked out. Yeah, I'd I, say it's more important than coming up. Yeah, I think that you can. I've seen so many bands and just like artists who have just got like such sick music, and their like visuals are just sort of like not really like enticing enough to go a bit further yeah and the, I, I don't know about more important but we love doing it just as much as anything else when it comes to like like we shoot our mo we've only not filmed two of our music videos ourselves and that was adrenaline and maniac but then we wanted to do get over it ourselves um so we shot that one ourselves and that's just a whole nother thing in itself where we just love 
getting involved in, you know, the studio space is quite big and it's like got a couple of floors. A lot of it's quite barren and like empty and wrecked. Um, so it's just really like that. kind of makes cool backdrops, doesn't it? Like, yeah, it's quite freeing in itself with that as well. Like there's a shipping container in the garden and yeah. we've we've filmed like a couple of videos in there. So and the rooms are massive and yeah. full of as well as stuff like, yeah. you know, as well as the place we record, like the actual studio space. Um, so as well as it being important, like it's super important and we're really passionate about that, but we also just love doing it just as yeah. the music. So yeah, for sure. Oh, there I, is. There I would is really. I would shout out Leg Malice. Yeah, I was going to say Leg Malice. I think they're doing so well. Um, I think Vukovi are Vukovi, really nailing it as well. Definitely. I really love yeah. Vukovi. Like, their sound is so cool. Yeah, um, and it's like it's kind of right. Like I think there's there's this little pocket I think of bands in the UK that right now are kind of almost crafting like an entirely new wave of music for the UK. It's super but I think modern. We haven't seen in such a long time. The UK yeah. has just not seen that. It's been, you know, and I think. If you were to look overseas and stuff, like America is still very, very strong metalcore. I think that, that you can yeah. get new metalcore bands and they just stay metalcore bands and the American crowd love that. And I think the UK kind of moved away from that a little while ago and they they love this new sound, I think. And um, yeah, I mean, even just the bands on the lineup tonight, like Un Unpeople and Cody Frost and stuff, like uh, I just think all of them are doing really well. So yeah, yeah I'd shout out all of them, definitely. Yeah. Career yeah. highlight. Um, jeez, I don't know where to start, to be honest. Islington is Academy it, for me. It, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Main room, Islington Academy. Yeah. Um, oh, see, the thing is, is, we're playing 2000 Trees this year, and I think yeah. that's going to be a big that's one for us. That's going to be a big one for us. Um, yeah. Big stage. It's, it's difficult because you can split it into like shows and, you know, stream numbers and things like that, even though we're not really like statistical people. Like, when you see, you know, we still have those celebrations of like, we just hit 12 million streams. So it's just like, it's a bit sort of unfathomable, really, a drop in the ocean for other people. But, you know, because we do everything ourselves, like, it's really nice to see that. Yeah. But, you know, in terms of, like, career highlights, I mean, for the short career it's been so far, I mean, like, even just being signed, getting to play on, like, 2000 Trees later this year, mm -hmm. you know, the constant support we've had from Radio 1. And, yeah, Radio 1 you know, be my, my one, for I sure. I think, oh, the rock sound spread was good rock as sound well. spread was That amazing. was weird. Yeah, so mad. <laughs> but in the yeah. sickest way. Yeah. yeah, that was nice. Seeing the stuff on Kerrang! TV as well. Like, yeah, like things that we grew up with. Yeah, like, it's just seeing that, yeah, 100%. Like, yeah. watched Kerrang! TV all my life, and then flicking the TV on and seeing us on there, it's like, yeah. that's a really big deal, I think. Yeah, like, definitely. definitely. <laughs> I think I think the uh, the rock sound feature was probably up there for me. Yeah. yeah. Being signed to UNFD, that was just like it's one of those moments that you think about as a kid, like when you want to get into music, and you're like, oh, okay, this is actually happening now, yeah. and it's a bit kind of like, whoa. So yeah, that's that's definitely the, probably the main moment for me. I think. Well, I mean, back in the day, we we were playing. Yeah. Oh, you you were as well, like all, all day as well, we yeah. back in the... That was like the thing, like all the time you'd yeah. see all day festivals. We actually met for the first time in 2012, playing a day festival, and then never spoke to each other again, did no, we? But we knew of each again. other, because yeah. you were in one band, yeah. you two were in one we, band, we I was in another band. Yeah. And that was in 2012, wasn't it? That's right, yeah. And then it wasn't until 2017 when you were looking for a new guitarist for that band, and I had not been in a band for yeah. five years, That's and right. the only way we knew each other was through a day fest. So yeah. Yeah. day fests like this are just the best. Like even, it's just, I think a lot of people get too hung up on like, oh, you know, it's a day fest, how many people are gonna be there? But it's just like, we're just like, oh, I can't wait to mingle and just hang out with people because yeah. like, it's how we met. And it's like, yeah. it's so important. So seeing yeah. Venues, like, seeing venues like this as well. I mean, we've literally just walked in, but like, you instantly get a vibe for a venue that actually cares about the artists yeah, yeah. Um, and cares about the people that come to see shows. Yeah, 100%. And like, instantly this got feels that. As like soon as I walked in, I was like, this place is cool. Yeah, this is going to be good. This place yeah. is cool. Yeah. yeah, it's so important. So grassroots definitely important. Yeah. And I hope that... And easier load-ins as well. Much easier <laughs> load-ins. <laughs> yeah, I hope that grassroots in the UK can either get stronger or remain where it is because I know that it's a bit bleak, isn't it? The numbers of grassroots venues going down and stuff. And I think after COVID, a, a lot more people are willing to go out yeah, now. Yeah, definitely. And it's like just... a new boom of people just like, I want to go somewhere. Yeah, like, yeah, for yeah. sure. So yeah, I think it's it's where it all started, isn't it? So definitely. it's like, right. yeah, I think it'll always carry on and just hopefully, you know, I think, I think there will be a rise, especially with these massive bands taking alternative and rock 
and even metal to a certain point into like the main charts. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. you know, people who in, are introduced to these genres via the mainstream are only, they only need to hear of like a day fest or like an evening show on a Wednesday in a town that isn't that massive yeah. to then be like, oh, I'm really into this music now. Like, yeah. so I want to go to this. So the more that happen, the more sustainable they are. But also as well, like I'm certain as well that all these day festival, you know, the day festivals that I see mostly like, that you can just absolutely tell that they're not money-making machines. You can tell that they're just like, look, here's a reasonably priced ticket to see some really good bands. Yeah. If you come along to this, you're probably going to have a really good time. Yeah, like, yeah, for sure. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, definitely important. I've been waiting for you. We're writing at the moment. Yeah, writing, writing at the moment for a new release this year. Whatever, um, whatever form that will take. Um, you never really know in the moment until it no, just naturally it comes kind to of its close. Itself, it? really. um, so we're right at the moment and we're going, we always have an approach of like, we, not that we actively go out of our way to make sure that we're not doing the same thing again, but we like to add new things. And I think we are, a, there's a lot of, there's a lot of heaviness coming out with these songs now. More so than before. Which more so than ever before. Yeah. So I think um, for the people who want more heavy, which we do get be. a lot. We definitely get that yeah. a lot. And like some of the older singles were heavier and then we kind of went a bit softer. And yeah. a lot of the comments we got before, weren't they? We were like, oh, why are they not screaming so much yeah. anymore? And it's like, well, we want well, to do something different. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. You know I mean? And like, now we seem to have fallen back into, yeah, yeah we could probably so make this we heavier, can, we can do we? this. We can yeah, do this I'll again. I'll buy two and, new guitars yeah. so I can drop lower. <laughs> Like, <laughs> all right, I'll warm yeah. up more. Yeah, yeah. So we got some really cool shows this year. Um, our releases that are going to be this year that we're working on right now, we're insanely excited for, um, just because of that progression, I think, yeah, and just definitely. where it's going. So, yeah. yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a really really fun year for us, I think. Yeah. I've been waiting for you.